flash called Power Outage, which was electrifying to say the least. <laughs> Aren't you the punny one? <laughs> Born and raised. <laughs> So, uh, Barry lost his powers in this episode, mm -hmm. and, um, you know, she gets cray when he doesn't have his powers. It, it gave way to a lot of funny things, you know, I really liked how, 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 how they did that whole, like, he's running eight miles an hour thing and he's struggling, yeah. and then they were all like, oh, but your, your, your blood cells are still different, it's all yeah. in your mind, and then this whole battle. I actually, I actually didn't like that it was the whole, like, you need to believe that you have the power. Because he had the power before he believed he had the power, so it was like, eh. Well, what sparked his return to flashiness... Flashiness. What's, what sparked his flashy return um, was Iris and Joe's little debacle with oh, the Clock King. Yeah. Which was a great intro for Clock King. Yes, it was. But now the question is, is he going to remain on the Flash or cross over to Star City? Uh, the story, the storyline was interesting. I, I really liked this week's villain. Um, yeah. And we had a little bit more tomfoolery from uh, our sir, our, from our resident asshole, um, Harrison Wells. Yeah. So, Barry's little power outage uh, caused a ripple in the time loop or time frame that he that Harrison Wells is keeping track of. Mm -hmm. So, of course, he has to, you know, pull some strings in his little puppet maestro village. And he decided to use Tony as one of his little pawns. Now, this gets on Barry's nerves because Barry's a good person. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and not willing to sacrifice one person for the good of all. Yeah. And it was so it was touching to see to see Tony go out with a good word, you know. Yeah, he went out with a bang. He went out in a flash. And we also see Iris kind of it, she kind of redeemed herself a little bit in my eyes, you know, because she totally shot the Clock King and saved everyone's asses. I did not think she was gonna she have the balls. Yeah. <laughs> Well, she's going on a completely different route than fucking Laura Lance yeah. in our other universe. Uh, um, which is gonna come together in a huge, massive explosion called Flash vs. Arrow. We're so excited for this episode! In a mere three days, will our minds We're explode. so ready. So ready. Ready your mops. Ready, ready your mops. Rooms. Because you're gonna have to sweep some brain off the floor. <laughs> Your mops. Mops? There's juices too. Yeah. <laughs> One of my favorite parts was when Eddie was all doped up. That was so cute. <laughs> he redeemed himself a little bit in my in my perspective. <laughs> I love that he was like, when Barry caught that, he was like, did anybody see that? Oh, it was so good. What does it tell you that to redeem yourself in my perspective, you just have to get a little high? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 the thing that we saw in the newspaper article! Oh, okay, so... Did you guys catch that? If anybody was paying super close attention, uh, on the oh. newspaper article, when it zooms in, you can see on the bottom right corner, or on the bottom left corner, that uh, there's, a little, there's a little snip in there that says Wayne Queen Merger. So, are they I am the, so freaking out. Are they gonna bring in the Waynes? What's gonna happen? I am so freaking out. We saw that and we fucking paused the TV and had the biggest freak out on the planet. I am gonna. Holy shit. Holy shit. What the. What? What? I don't know what to do with myself. Joe broke Barry's favorite mug and he didn't catch it. What a dick. Oh. Yeah. I love Barry and Joe's relationship. Me too! And I love how that's coming on, you know? It, ha it has its father-son qualities, but it also has like a kind of mentor quality yeah. to it. Yeah, I love it. Question of the video... Do you think the Clock King is going to be more a part of the Flash or of Arrow? Because he's more of the Arrow villain. We, yeah, we say that because the Clock King is a villain in the Arrow series. Yeah. So, I mean, I know that Arrow has had a lot of Batman um, villains in it, yeah. and that doesn't necessarily point to a crossover, but now with the new information that we've learned from looking closely at this article, things might change. Regardless, we are ready. We're ready. And what do you
you guys think? Do you think do you think he'll be a part of Flash or a part of Arrow? And oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> his his him coming into play has totally changed the game. And don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. We will see y'all tomorrow.